many dicks on the dance floor. Too many dicks. Hey y'all, and welcome back to another cooking video. Yeah, y'all thought this was gonna be a normal one, didn't you? Psych! Well, I'm here to instigate your dirty minds once again. Now, last week we made peachy ass buns. So this week we're gonna do bread. And I'll be honest with you, this is my first time making these, so I have no idea if they're gonna come out the way I want them to. So we will see. For these buns, we have to do two separate colors. We're gonna do purple for the body and green for the, uh, the tip. I did my purple dough and I set it off to the side to proof. And now I'm working on my green dough. But look at this color though. It reminds me so much of my childhood. It's giving very much Slime Time Live. It's giving very much Reptar. And so here I am kneading my green dough before I also set it off to the side to proof. Now here I am bringing back my purple dough. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't think I was going to sneak a fart in there again, didn't you? Anyways, remove your purple dough from its container and we're going to start forming our eggplants. Here I'm cutting my dough into sections so that they're easier to work with. And for these buns, we're going to stuff them with cheese. Because what is a dick without cheese? So I rolled my dough out and now I'm grabbing about a handful of mozzarella cheese, placing it in the center, and then I'm gonna pinch close the buns, you know, so that the cheese doesn't leak out. And at this point, we're just gonna finagle with and play with our uh, buns to get the right shape that we want. But I will tell you this, it's definitely easier to make it in a triangular formation, you know, since the tip is uh, the skinnier part and the head is the fatter part. But look at that, isn't it so cute? Yeah, exactly. And might I remind you, not all eggplants are the same size or shape, so we're just gonna make this one a little curvier than the others. And now for our tips, or I'm sorry, our stems, we're gonna take our green dough after it's done proofing and we're gonna go ahead and roll it out as flat as we can. I know bread is hard to work with because it expands so much, but we're gonna try our best to roll it out as thin as possible. I went ahead and used a cookie cutter to punch out circles, and then after that I went ahead and cut out triangles along the edges. Then pinch a little part of the tip out for the stem. Go ahead and wet your tip and place the stem on top of it. And look at that, we have an eggplant! Now we're gonna go ahead and wet our eggplants. And you even licked my balls. With egg wash, people. My goodness, get your head out the gutter. What a fat dick. We're not gonna proof them more because we don't want them growing any bigger, but these go into the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes and we're done. 